Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to make these nice circles which can be used as a coaster spot holder and you can use your leftover yarn for making this project. So, we are going to begin now. Things that we require for this project are a yarn of your choice or you can use your leftover yarn for this project, a pair of scissors and a hook that could match to the thickness of the yarn. So let's get started. At first, we have to pick up the tail of the yarn, make a loop, insert the hook in, pull through to make a slip knot. Now wrap the yarn on your hook, pull through, pull through, pull through and pull through. These are 4 chains. We have to go back to the first one, insert the hook in, pull through. There are two loops on the hook, pull through both the loops to join the ring with slip stitch. Now chain 1, 2, 3 which counts as a double crochet, wrap the yarn on your hook, insert the hook into the ring, pull through. There are three loops on the hook, pull through two, pull through two. This is double crochet, wrap the yarn on your hook insert the hook into the ring pull through pull through two pull through two so these are three double crochet now take the tail along with your work so that it would be hidden behind the stitches now insert the hook into the ring pull through pull through two pull through two these are four double crochet we have to make 15 in all now five 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 Now when these 15 stitches into the ring are complete we have to insert the hook on the top of the first stitch pull through now when the first round is complete we have to make chain one two three on the top of the same stitch into the same stitch we have to make one more double crochet again on the top of next stitch we have to make double crochet one and double crochet two now on the top of the next stitch we have to make two double crochet so this is the first one and now second so complete the round by making two double crochet on the top of each stitch and we'll meet again when this round would be completed and when the round would be completed there should be 30 double crochet on the top of each stitch so complete the round and we'll meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to join the stitches on the top of the four stitch with a slip stitch now 30 stitches on the top of 15 stitches are complete now we have to make chain one two three on the top of the four stitch and into the same stitch we have to make one more double crochet now chain two for chain space and skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch we have to make two double crochet so this is the first one and now into the same stitch we have to make one more double crochet 
chain 2 for chain space. Skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch we have to make 2 double crochet into the same stitch. Chain 2 for chain space. Skip a stitch. On the top of the next stitch we have to make 2 double crochet. 1 and 2. So complete the round following the same pattern and we'll meet again when this round would be completed. When this round is complete we have to make chain 2, 1, 2 and now we have to join the stitches on the top of the 4 stitch with a slip stitch. Now into the same stitch we have to make a single crochet. So insert the hook in, pull through, there are 2 loops on the hook, pull through 2. Again into the next into the chain space of 2 we have to make 2 single crochet on the top of next 2 double crochet insert the hook in pull through pull through 2 insert the hook in pull through pull through 2 so in this round we have to make single crochet on the top of each stitch to complete this round so complete this round and we'll meet again when this round with single crochet would be completed. When this round is complete, we have to join the stitches on the top of the 4th stitch with a slip stitch. Now, this circle pattern is complete. We just have to work on the edging of the coaster or the pot holder. So, for the edging, we have to make 1, 2, 3 chains go back to the first one insert the hook in pull through pull through two to make a pike cot chain one and now skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch join the stitches with slip stitch now chain one two three again go back to the first chain insert the hook in pull through pull through two now we have made a pike cot Skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch, join the stitches with slip, with slip stitch. Again we have to begin from the same stitch. So make chain 1, 2, 3, go back to the 4th chain, insert the hook in, pull through, pull through 2. Now we have to make chain 1 and now skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch, join the stitches with slip stitch. Again, chain 1, 2, 3, go back to the first one, insert the hook in, pull through, pull through 2 to make a pie cord, chain 1 and skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch, join the stitches with slip stitch. So complete the round following the same pattern and make the edging across the round. We'll meet again when this edging would be completed. When the round is complete, we have to join the stitches into the fourth stitch with a slip stitch now we have to cut the yarn from here now this nice beautiful coaster or the pot holder is complete these are the color options in which i have made these coasters or the pot holder if you like the pattern try one for yourself thank you so much